Hello and welcome to Hack5. My name is Darren Kitchen and on this dose of Technolust, some very exciting developments. We're going to be talking with one of my favorite hackers that you've seen on the channel, of course, and that is none other than Glitch because, well, there's a lot of cool glitchy stuff to get into. I'm here in the Sierra foothills just outside of Yosemite. Found this really cool suspension bridge, one vehicle at a time, five tons max. Kind of scary. I think it's from like 1937, but a lot of fun. And just out here doing some droning. Because what a weird time. So do what you love. Whatever it is that you love. I love droning. But whatever you love, just make sure that you carve out time, if not every day, a few times a week to just do that and get through this really weird time. But this is Hack 5. We are all about the techno less. And you are about to see just a smattering of it because there's some gear and we're geeks and that's why we're here. So without further ado, let's check it out. Glitch, it is so good to see you, man. The hey, man. last time we were hanging in the Pacific Northwest, mm. I remember we did a little video on your hacker bag right. that people loved. And I thought, hey, since we're out here in the Sierra Nevada hills, why? Do, and you've been just rocking this bag all yeah, day long. Yeah, this little thing. I realize this is your everyday carry mm -hmm. hacker bag. Right, so that bag was the bag I had before was a bit on the bulbous side and it was pretty excessive as many pointed out and it didn't have a laptop as <laughs> many people wanted to let me know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I, I've been working on trimming it down to just the bare minimum stuff that I have been using almost every day. And that's what this is. Well, this is... Please give me a tour. I'm excited. What, what is the bag itself? The bag itself is actually like a $25 Amazon special called a Nicked Sling Bag or something like that. And I'll have all the links down below. But... I found a bag like this uh, last DEF CON actually, and I used that, and for the most part it was pretty good. However, it had a few extra flaps and a couple of patches and stuff that I just didn't really care for. So I took a seam ripper and took those off, and now it gives me first order access to everything I need. I don't have to move anything else out of the way to get to it. Nice. So this is all the stuff that you carry on a regular basis as opposed to, you know, a project bag. Right. So what are the necessities you well, know, as we're, so, as so we're here a, in in nature <laughs> well as we've been traveling I, i've obviously got a radio now normally i don't carry the radio except for when i'm on someone else with the radio this is a baofeng uv5r specifically the tri-power version so it can go up to eight watts small antenna extended battery nothing too special it's a cheap radio that gets the job done we've been using this in the vans and it has been a lifesaver especially where there's no service after that, I've just got a Bluetooth speaker because, well, music on the road's important. The nice thing about this bag is it is a sling bag, so I can just move it this way and I can get access to everything without anything falling, falling out. It oh, opens I love on that. the top. Yeah, there's a Peak Design backpack that implemented that, yeah. and uh, I took that all around the world and thought it was like, of all the things that it had, that was the feature. You don't have to take it off to get access to mm -hmm. it. It's great. I've got a USB-C battery bank, but it is also a wall charger in and of itself. So it's about 10,000 milliamp hour and it'll charge up to 45 watts, which for what I carry is yeah. great. And it's compact. You don't have two separate devices. You just plug it in and it charges. I carry an iClever Bluetooth keyboard and we'll get to why here in a little bit, but this thing's pretty great because it folds up super compact, pocket size, not the greatest uh, mechanical feel for sure, but mm -hmm. it fits. And then I carry a tiny Bluetooth mouse. I'm probably going to change this guy out because it's not the most usable thing in the world. Here we have just the little dongly bits, so like Bluetooth earbuds. These are just the Razer uh, audio, wireless, whatever. They work. Right. Another USB cable. That's a USB A to C that I usually carry a micro, to, or a C to micro adapter. So I don't have to carry a micro cable specifically. Sure. This thing's great. This is like a super cheap $7 
USB-C to micro SD card reader. No, it's great though because it works with my phone. So this is the Galaxy Z Fold 2 and this is actually my primary computing device. And it's great because I can use, so imagine this is an SSH terminal or any other, you know, you're sending an email, something mm -hmm. like that. You can use both hands to type on it. And I get about 75 to 80% of my uh, words per minute that I do on an actual laptop with an actual keyboard. Wow, that's pretty good. But it fits in your pocket. It's a full on, you know, I think it's an eight inch screen that you can just fold up and fit in your pocket. I, <laughs> I gotta be honest, I have been techno lusting after this ever since Shannon reviewed it on her channel, which you should go and check out. However, it's still very early gen. Yes, so like things like Samsung DeX, which is really cool, you can use this as a desktop computer to some approximation with multiple apps. Works great 90% of the time. That last 10% of the time can actually, it, it makes you want to go back to a laptop. But <laughs> when you're dealing with- And so is that why you bring these? Yes, absolutely. The so on the back here, I have a debit card holder as well as a kickstand. And so I can pop it off like this. Open that like that. Oh, nice. And now I have a desktop device or wow. a mobile device. All right, so n that explains like this setup. So does that lead us to this 3D printed guy here? Yeah, so this is just a 3D printed case around a Raspberry Pi 3B plus wireless. And uh, this gives me all my terminal stuff I might need on the road. So if I, it's basically a disposable Kali box or whatever, you know, pen test box. Great, so then you would Wi-Fi to it from yep. your phone and then you would have like a complete Linux desktop. It's completely headless. It's actually Linux, not like Android Linux. GoPro Hero and, you know, mic box, all that jazz. I have the neat little tripod to go along with it, but it also works as a selfie stick. Oh, that's cool. So, of course, gotta have some Hack 5 gear. Now, this is the Hack 5 Roll and it's got the Keycroc, Bash Bunny, Shark Jack, Rubber Ducky, the adapter kit, all in this really neat little package here. Totally pocket sized or tiny bag sized. And then there is a SSD. This is a M.2 uh, carrier and inside is a two terabyte NVMe SSD. And again, it's USB-C, so it works great with the phone. So I can do video syncing to mm -hmm. it, uh, whatever I need. Just... And I bet you get great transfer speeds off oh, that. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Hacker F with a porta pack running Havoc firmware because you can't go wrong with some uh, uh, RX only RF. This thing's pretty great. This is the old school porta pack. The new one's black, but yeah, I like it. <laughs> We're at the point where Glitch actually doesn't know what else is in his EDC. I don't actually have a need to carry this in my bag all that often because the phone has 5G. And so this is just the uh, Glynet Muddy LTE modem. And I did a video uh, a little while back on hacking this to get unlimited LTE. As long as you have an unlimited S or SIM card and then you do, anyway, there's stuff you can do. That was really cool. I saw you uh, up in the Pacific Northwest with that. And then as I was setting up my new van, I basically copied his idea, except I did it with the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7 because I still had development units. It's the same idea. You just install a K mod and change the TTL. Pretty cool hack. And I've seen a couple other Wi-Fi routers slash LTE modems that do this now, which is kind of nice. So speaking of pineapples, uh, this is the, Nano that we all know and love. <laughs> it's, you know, I like it because it's so pocket sized and it fits uh, right on the bag strap here and I can wrap pack five and wrap the pineapple there. I mean, you can't go wrong with anything with molly straps, but <laughs> I did see that you were still rocking that and I figured, you know, you probably should have a Wi Fi pineapple oh, thank Mark you, man. 7. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Well, guys, you definitely need to subscribe if you have not already because Glitch has so much cool stuff coming. You may have seen some premonitions in previous videos. If you're like, this looks familiar, there's a lot he's hacking on. In fact, to give you a call uh, a couple months ago and mm -hmm. said, hey, interested in a slightly used marshmallow? And dude, I have got to say, I am thrilled to see how you have hacked it and continue to. And we're here on the road in the uh, Sierra Nevada foothills working on more fun hacker projects. So stay tuned to those, subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, links to all of these in the description. Yep, absolutely. I know that already I wanna be getting me one of these. <laughs> it's good stuff. Okay, do you have uh, any tips for Glitch as far as like, what is that one thing that he's missing in his AD EDC that's in yours? Leave a comment in the description below. Uh, leave a comment in the description because <laughs> you've, you've clearly, um, <laughs> otherwise in the comments below. Oh man, dude, it's so good to see you. I'm I'm so excited for what we've got coming up very oh, yeah. soon, very soon. Um, oh, I've been Glitch. Uh, I'm Darren. Trust, Trust your, your techno lust. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Glitch out. <laughs> it's good.
Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and Pentest products at hack5.org.